Hello everybody, welcome to Strider 84 versus Artemis Black live. Winners bracket round three, very exciting. So uh, Strider needs no inter introduction for some people, but does for others. Uh, he is good on tabletop and fumble, not so much on Blood Bowl 2 I don't think, or maybe Blood Bowl 3, but I mean enough to qualify. He's taken standard lizard men build, and I, it's probably more standard to go three rerolls, right? But with this being overtime, all three lizards that qualified swapped their reroll for a chameleon skink. Um, so he's got 12 players. He's gotten the I'm with stupid formation that Art likes so much. So that's funny, isn't it? Except he hasn't made it an arrow. So that's great. Um, Art has gone for a more bangy underworld team. He's got the claw to try and Kazsaurus. He's got a dirty player and a sneaky git to try and high roll people. He's got Wrestle and uh, two Wrestles to try and protect his rubbish clan rats. Tackler for Skinks and other Underworld and Block to protect his Gutter Runner. So he's he's really tried to like max damage and max high roll a bit, which is not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? There you go. And uh, yeah, Art. Art needs an introduction. Well, Art obviously it was like, you know 80% win rate in Blood Bowl 2. Uh, second in the ladder for this. Could have been first if he wanted probably. But nobody was going to outwork Art or Chunter, right? I think Art and Chunter were locked in top 1 and 2. Those two were just going to work harder than everybody else. And were good enough to guarantee it. There were probably other people who could work as hard, but they weren't as good. So, it was basically guaranteed. Oh, wow, Sweltering Heat. That is fantastic for Artemis. He'll get Sweltering Heated on, like, Snotlings, whereas his opponent will get Sweltering Heated on Saurus. 12 players versus 16 players. It's pretty obvious who that favours. And, of course, he goes straight in with the Claw Blitz. Um... And does absolutely nothing. Yeah, they, they cap, they're they going to Captain No Life it, so there you go. Uh, and now Art's realising, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Rat Ogres aren't as good as Trolls, are they? Because a Troll could have just blitzed and pushed him away and then not got hit back. But instead, is Rat Ogres going to get instantly removed? <laughs> Almost like Rat Ogres suck and you shouldn't rely on them to try and high roll people. But, who can say, if it's good or bad... Maybe he should have just dackered. I feel like dackering versus a team with 7 strength 4 with block is a pretty good thing to do, actually. Um, but he's not dackering, is he? He's, he's, I mean, maybe he should dacker and just accept that his Rattog is going to die. <laughs> he's putting in to try and defend it a bit. Yeah, <laughs> first action loner. <laughs> basically, it was basically first action big guy blitz. <laughs> amazing, amazing the stick he'd give for somebody else for doing that. Very amusing. Oh, not protecting the snotling. So now we get a three dice blitz, a snotling, and a two dice block, a four dice block the rat ogre. So the interesting thing about assisting with the skinks is, if you know, if he fails to power him off both blocks, oh, I guess he can follow off this hit. But if he powers him on the first hit, then he can maybe blitz the skink, right? Unless he's going to foul him. But fouling seems really foolish. Here, V break. Instant stun. <laughs> is Art going to concede? <laughs> quit from Artemis or is Strider the Strider disconnected nope his game quit somehow 
Art has had to alter for because of some reason. Or maybe the game just fully crashed. Windows critical failure sound is what people heard. <laughs> Yes, Fluffy Burrito, yeah. Yeah, so... I think they planned for these two games to take place on the initial weekend, originally. I think that's what they intended. Um, but it worked out that, you know, these games weren't played on the initial weekend. So whether that was, you know, by accident or design, who knows. But for whatever reason, these games are just not being played on the official stream. Um, they went with showing, like, you know, the loser's bracket games that resulted in eliminations, and those six advancing. So the six that are, were, adva were advancing are the six that are advancing, right? The only thing is, rather than four of them being in the winner's bracket and two in the loser's bracket, by the time the official broadcast starts on Saturday, there will be two remaining in the winner's bracket and four in the loser's bracket ready to play in the loser's bracket. So, uh... Yep, that's what's happening. There's no beads yet. I mean, I will do it. Maybe I'll do it before I leave, but there is no beads yet. <laughs> and there's also no sound files anyway. I turned off. I turned off sound files for this. So there we go. You know, he didn't make all of his safe moves first yet again. Art always berates Strider for not making all of his safe moves first, and he did indeed not make safe moves first again. So Art does get to bang this guy and then bang this guy, which is okay. You know, Art does like banging guys. No mighty blow. But the tackle Art really likes a tackle in NAF I mean, not that he's ever played NAF but he likes the idea of a tackler in NAF Art loves to bang guys yep <laughs> I mean, we all do, don't we? <laughs> Is that not news? <laughs> it's all about banging on men's. That's what uh, that's what Blood Bowl's all about. So he make, he goes for the big foul. I think this is the correct strategy versus lizard men, right? Try and bang them out. Well, on defense, try and isolate and foul. I quite like, but on offense, I feel like you should duck it. Exactly, dog to the dog. Exactly. Injured! Instant apple, because it's a badly hurt. Is it a double five? It is not a double five. It could be a double six as well. So obviously instant apple there. But uh, getting rid of a Saurus is pretty good. And the apple. So there you go, pretty good. Gets the 4 plus dodge off. Look a dog. And the 3 plus. Absolute scenes here from Artemis Black as he makes every single dice roll known to man. I'm sure he'll be commenta commenting on how lucky he is to have made those dodges. And not fixating on the uh, Rat Ogre that, <laughs> that didn't power and then was stunned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. It's, things can still happen, right? Skinks, there's all skinks can always do magic. I think it's it's similar with like the, the the thing with lizards is like you seriously like impacting their ability, right? But once you once they go down a couple of saurus, but you haven't won when they've got a couple of saurus. With like orcs or dwarves, find find it much harder to come back down two players. Whereas lizards can just roll some dice, right? The skinks, the skinks can do skinky things. Um, so, so, so they're not out of it at all. But yeah, what happens is, once they go down a couple of Saurus, then they can't protect the Skinks, and you know, then you, you know, your whole team can't really fight seven Saur like seven big guys. But your whole team can fight five, and that's when the you know the Skinks start 
you know, coming undone basically. Lizards got worse in, like, you know, progression based environments, but are probably better in, in NAF style events due to some of the other teams getting worse. <laughs> Um, however, however, is there a skink there? So he's getting a skink hit there. However, they have a bad matchup versus the best team in the game, which is Underworld. However, <laughs> Underworld are pretty dice dependent and, uh, you know, critical failures and stuff. And, you know, Lizardmen are still super strong, right? Super strong. Yeah, a lot of games, right? Because it just takes them a long time to get block and then uh, Redraft kills them, right? Redraft kills them. Redraft just kills them because they can't skill up loads of Saurus because it takes too many bloody games to skill up all of your Saurus. So it just doesn't really work. They don't really work in leagues anymore. Dwarves daily. Dwarves are the only one. Dwarves and other underworld. <laughs> so really, the only teams anybody should take are dwarves and other underworld. However, lizards have got a pretty good matchup versus dwarves, and a pretty good matchup versus everything that isn't underworld. So you have a rock paper scissors kind of effect going on, though there's really no reason for it to be rock paper scissors. It could just be rock and paper. <laughs> Well, there's two rocks, and there's one paper. And there you go. No bluff skills and bluff. Yeah, they've got swarming, right? They've got snotlings, so they can fit. They can have like 12, 13, 14 players on the pitch, and then they can use those players to score the best one turns in the game because they they can you know they've got good they've got a gutter runner, they've got a gutter runner now. That's that's the big difference. They have a gutter runner. Um, so their gutter runner can do things, yeah, and they can foul, and they can have loads of players, and pretty good. Pretty good. So what's this, two, three, so he's got to put the goblin into 1D? Or maybe he doesn't 1D so that he keeps the cage. Whatever happens. He could have just not 1D'd there. Because, like, that was a 3 plus, right? If he, if he just doesn't hit, the, the, the Saurus can only hit one of them and he will keep his cage. Whereas if he had sculled, the Saurus hits this one and then he just hits the ball. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it was a very good chat chance of he should just shouldn't have made that block there I think I think probably not making that block was better I know Hammers it was unbelievable I, I I did point that out when we got the spoilers to the new edition I was like as if people are thinking losing a blitzer is bad when you get a gutter runner <laughs> These people not play Blood Bowl. You get a gutter runner. And uh, also... Oh, wait, can this guy not reach? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he could reach. Yeah, he could reach. Getting all of the dice out here. All of the dice. Thus far. So, yeah, like, you know, these Snotlings are pretty great, right? They, they, they've got tackle zones, and they can assist, and they can foul, and... And they're players. They're at fifteen k, and you get you get more than eleven players on the pitch. It's insane. Um, and like goblins are pretty rubbish, and clan rats are pretty rubbish. But you get a blitz that can do things. You get a rat ogre that can do things, and you you get the best player. Just literally the best player in the game. A gutter runner with mutations on normals is definitely the best player in the game. I would say. I mean, dancers are still good, but they're not as good as they were, are they? Hit back, gets a KO. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, well, that's the thing, Dry, right? That's the thing. Like, you know, this is what everyone who was like, just kill the skinks. It's not actually that easy to kill skinks. You know, everyone who's played Skaven knows it's not that easy to kill Skaven. And, you know, or kill Norse. But this is this is a bit tricky. It, it looked like I was in a good spot, but there's a lot of uh, clamping down here from this turn, even with the stunned uh, Crocs. If this Crocs hadn't been stunned, this would have been a nightmare turn for Art, I think. But with the, uh, with the Crocs stun, it's just like looking bad rather than a nightmare. <laughs> He's just going to have to make loads of 1 in 9 dodges again. And 2 pluses and... Uh, yep, yeah, so he's, we're tagging there. I mean, this is this is tricky as as flip for Art here. Hmm. Yeah, like Art's team is uh, is like this, right? And then Strider's team is like that. I just I like going parallel to where people's teams are. Is he's gone parallel, and then he's got a guy round, like an extra guy round each, right? He's locking down the sideline with the two guys there, and he's locking down the reverse with this guy. It's like he's outnumbering the uh, underworld, and he's not. He's outnumbered. He's outnumbered Strider, but it looks like he's outnumbering them. Now, of course, that's because these guys are strength four and monsters. But, uh, yep, yeah, very, very, very tricky for Art. I mean, it's hard to hit the skinks, isn't it? <laughs> I guess the gutter could run all the way around and he could dodge with a wrestler and hit this one and then tag there and then hit another one or something but like this is a pretty terrible spot for Art could do a dumbass roger blitz Nice claw, mate. He could, uh, he could Surfosaurus, could he? Could he Surfosaurus? Probably not. I guess he technically could, but like it's not very good. <laughs> it's not actually very good to Surfosaurus. But he technically could Surfosaurus here, I'm pretty sure. But uh you know the question is what's the point? And it would probably expose the ball. But he he could rogue a blitz to here and he could one D him and then chain him to there uh, chain him to there. You, see, you put a snotling there, and then this rogue blitz chains this guy to the to the sideline, and then this guy chains this guy onto him, and then surfs him. So you could surf a you could surf a Saurus, but you need to do like a couple of snotling dodges to do it. But you could have done. So he does he does do the uh, rogue blitz to get the rogue rogue back in the game. Yeah, he gets a KO. But now he's you know he's forced to do. What, snotling dodges here to hit a skink? Oh, wow. Goes for the uh, goblin dodge. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> oh, my. I guess. Oh, God. That's, that was. This was. I don't think he thought it through. I think he's just woken up. Uh oh. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Will Robinson. Oh, dear. This is. Uh... This is a nightmare for Artemis. He has to roll some dodges here. He's got to roll a bunch of dice to save himself. I don't even know how he's going to. Well, I guess the snotling goes here and he punches him. And then he dodges out the goblin to protect. Yes, Hamez. So, <laughs> the chain push situation here is there's four players in a square... So if this goblin gets hit from this square, as you can see, he's covered both corners. He hasn't covered this corner yet, um, which a skink could get to. Um, if you hit from this corner, 
you would push the Saurus on the ball. If you hit from this corner, you push the Saurus on the ball. And if you hit from this corner, ah, but he's got he's got sidestep, so that's okay. So he didn't actually have to cover that because he's got sidestep. Um, but he covered it anyway, but he didn't have to because he got sidestep. <laughs> So he didn't actually need that one there. And by concentrating so much on that, this Saurus might just be able to get there, right? If he can uh, knock down this fellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So yeah, if he just knocks down this wrestler, he just hits the ball anyway. The dice are saving art, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? And he's under the cosh. He is under the cosh. Push the gutter onto the saurus. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Just run. I think the players just punch this guy and, and, and hit him with a Saurus. Like, you've got two free guys. So one goes there, one goes there, one goes there, punch, and then hit the ball. Yeah, he's already, yeah that's what he's doing. I mean, he's just taking the ball with a, with a, with a Saurus. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. But he doesn't get a second hit at it. Ooh, well, I guess maybe he's going for the skin blitz then. With that hit, that's not what I would have done. Or maybe he's just not going for it. Oh, no, he's clearing that with the pow, and then he gets to do the chain. Of course. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Wow. Now, do you get three dice on him? Yeah, that would that that he Art hit the wrong one, didn't he? He hit this one instead of that one. Uh, it was just wrong. It was wrong block, right, from the wrestle. The wrestle should have blocked the guy who could block the snotling. Last turn, he should have, he should have blocked the one who could block the snotling, and not the other one. And he, or he shouldn't have made the block that he made, right? He shouldn't have made the block that he made to put him next to him. Assist with the Saurus to get the 3D. Gets the POW. Yeah, the Goblin hit in the, Saur in the Saurus was terrible, yeah. Ooh. I mean, you have to pick it, so I guess. You, so the good thing here is you're definitely going for the pickup, so you can just roll, move there. You don't even need to think about whether you re-roll it unless you roll a 1 or a 2. And now the question is, do you do the GFIs with two re-rolls? Or do you try and stall this out somehow? It doesn't look fantastic for stalling out. So I think he'll do the GFIs. Oh! So Artemis is teetering on the brink. But the, uh, the heat stroke is going to do him some favours this drive unless it hits his gutter. It does not hit his gutter. So, oh god, I've pressed C again, haven't I? I need to stop this habit that I've got of hitting C because uh, I don't want to do that on the official cast. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So he's got 11 players versus 9. Yep, yeah, uh, Artemis is playing like he's just woken up because he has. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that that chain was a that was a horrible block to uh that was a horrible block. Horrible block to take.
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hope that 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 was weird when they, when that started doing that all the time. I really don't know why. Like it's never happened to me before, so it had to be a a problem with the program that I was using. But I don't know what the hell it was. It wasn't even the the follow on the goblin hit. It was just the goblin hit itself. It wasn't even the follow because even if he hadn't followed, he was still in trouble. He just had to. Uh, he had to have not hit it. I did, Tom. Hello. I did. I said that favors out right because he's got more players. But then uh, it doesn't actually. He's at eleven versus nine. He could have been up two players anyway. So it's not really uh, not really doing him too many favors. But I mean, well, it's doing him. It is because otherwise it'd be eleven versus eleven, right? So it is doing him favors. Well, no, it wouldn't. It would be. He would have. Art would have like between twelve and thirteen, wouldn't he? If there was no heat. So. Yeah, he, sh he shouldn't have made the goblin hit. He just shouldn't have made the goblin hit, and he still had to make all the dodges afterwards as well, right? But like, he just shouldn't have made that goblin hit. That was the killer. You can still pull it back. It's not over. But uh, it's asking a lot. Yeah, I know, Jilly. But the point is, it's not as like it's not as insane as it could be, right? Like he could have, he could have had twelve or thirteen versus nine. <laughs> But he's only got 11 versus 9. But yeah, he would have had 12 or 13 if there was no heat. So it's still obviously better having 11 versus 9 than 12 or 13 versus 11. And also the quality is rather good of being down a Skinkinosaurus. I knew he was going to roll a one. Absolutely knew it. Puts in the re roll. Yeah, the gut route would have been would have been almost GG. GG. Oui, oui, a Gigi, but not yet. I wonder if he should have dodged the snotling first. Probably wouldn't have made any difference, right? Probably still had to reroll the pickup with uh, Skink. Skink surround. But it's looking more and more like Art is up for a fun Saturday. The loser of this match will be facing Inarin, I believe. Let's have a look. The complete bracket. So this is match 3.2. And yet it is Inarin, yep. Yeah, Jaleev, so the, the final six were decided, but um, I think they initially wanted these two matches, uh, this one and Hiru versus Diomed. I think this these these matches were planned for the initial weekend, but they ended up not taking place. Um, so they got the like the week to play these games, and they've just happened to play on Thursday and Friday. Uh, which is a little bit annoying for me, you know, with <laughs> with tonight being the night before I travel and tomorrow night I'll be in France and so won't be able to cast it.
but Kalon will be casting it live if anybody wants to watch it live. So, there you go, there's Kalon. Give him a follow if you want to watch that tomorrow night. Hiru versus Diamond. <laughs> Dave and I might be watching it in France. <laughs> Yeah, so whatever happens, they're in the top six. Um, they're just... They're just... Uh... Hello, Andy. Do you want to cast or not? <laughs> in bed together. In our pyjamas. Yep. We'll have the lube next to us. <laughs> and the anal beads. <laughs> Pulling out... All of the stops? Oh dear. What kind of issues, Andy? Because I might be having the same ones. <laughs> oh dear. Because the, the weather's pretty bad, isn't it? If it's to do with the weather. Flip me. Our oh, web check in, right? <laughs> Oh God, Raina. <laughs> Wait, update your passports. You don't need to update them. I mean, I've got a passport. You needed a passport anyway. Um, you know. Shut, shut up, Brian. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, God. Calm it down, everybody. Please. 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 <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm Glorious. victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. That was your message. But thank you very much, Rainer, for staying fantastic for a whole year. Or three whole beaver pregnancies. Man, Art's in a pickle, isn't he? Art is in a bit of a pickle. Gonna roll the blitz again. Nope, he's gonna double one. And uh, I think that was a three plus, wasn't it? Maybe from the Crocs. I think he rolled a double one anyway. This rogue hasn't been very good, has he? He's he's blitzed in and got knocked down both times. <laughs> Uh, classic. Take claws so he can beat up Saurus. Does nothing. Why did it roll four ones? He rolled a five, and then he rolled a one, and then he rolled a dodge skill, rolled another one, so it was the snake. So he, he passed the dodge away from the tail, and then he double wand. Uh, Oh, above the player because you know there's the occasional, the occasional visual bug. Yeah, Tom, it's good, isn't it? It's 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 kind of crazy that turning the graphics down makes it look better. Like, that's. Uh... That is what it is. Indeed, absolutely hopeless. Like it's, it's you know, it's a big match, big prizes, big stakes. You know, like the not just the monetary prize, but like you know, like winning that. People like to win tournaments, right? And like, as much as Art mocks the playoff nerves and everything, it's absolutely a thing. It's absolutely a thing. It's not all about the beads. I mean, the dice haven't favoured Art in terms of removals. But uh, he's made a few dodges until he double won that one. He hasn't got the knockdowns on his claw, but... I think he'll be complaining 
slightly more than is warranted about the dice. I mean, this is rough, isn't it? This is rough. He had a puke. Yeah. Well. Maybe he should have played tomorrow. <laughs> He's woken up and then puked and played. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, also not really fine here. Two people, I think, Chunter and somebody else. Chunter and Moomin Slayer were 7th and 8th, I believe. And then these are all in the top 6 right now. There you go. Interesting play, rather an orthodox. Yeah, Chunter and Moomin Slayer, yeah. yeah. Clever Jim. This is this is a this is a bit of a pickle, isn't it? This is a bit of a bit. I guess you can dodge the uh, Snotling and then blitz the Skink. But then he doesn't have much to come with him, does he? He does not have much to come with him at all. This is rotten. Well, it's funny, Hamez, I do not rate tabletop experience <laughs> in the least. <laughs> but um, I don't think he underestimated him. He knows that everyone says Stride is good. And, you know, he was just saying that he thinks he hasn't played very good this tournament. Um, so, you know, like, which is, I think both of those things are fair, right? People can play badly in a tournament or, you know, do bad ordering mistakes in a tournament. Still be good at Blood Bowl, right? Like, at the end of the day, it it just is what it is, isn't it? Blood Bowl is more than safe moves first. So just because just because Strider didn't do some safe moves first um, doesn't mean he's bad at Blood Bowl, right? Even though Art, you know, calls, calls everybody who doesn't do them absolute shitters and what have you. It doesn't make somebody bad at Blood Bowl to not do safe moves first every time. Um, there is more to it than that. But, certainly, um, this is uh, not looking good for Artemis right now. <laughs> 1D into source removal. Yep, yeah, that was pretty uh, bad. Skink, yeah, skink. A 2D, wasn't it? It was a 2D. He got an assist from this. So that's his last reroll gone. And he really needed this, right? He really needed that to, uh, you know, not really do anything. But he, he needed it. <laughs> um, gets the roll group. That helps. But, I mean, this is almost instant. Like, you know, with a tiny bit of luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost instant 3D on the ball. Um... So yeah, here we go. I mean, the, the big ones are if you can pow. If this is a pow, it's or or a both down. So seventy five percent of the time, this is terrible for for art. This guy can base the ball. Whatever happens. I guess there's an argument for uh, no. You can't double tier five. I think you just do this and see if you pow. He pows him. This is. Uh, this is for no, no. You hit hit the wrestle, right? Hit the wrestle first, Niaga, because that informs the rest of your play, right? So if you just get the push there, then now you can think about maybe double GFing with this skink and blitzing with the uh, chameleon into the block guy, and then hitting on three D with the block guy and stuff. So, but obviously getting the power now, you hit with the block guy, and you three D the ball. They are listening. Apple on him. Wow. I guess Art just thought he was taking too many... Uh, taking too many um, casualties. Yeah, that was a weird Apple, wasn't it? And it worked. I'm making this 3D, yeah, fair enough. I mean, I don't think he had to, but, you know, fair enough. Like, if you're not doing anything better with this Saurus, you might as well make it 3D. I guess uh, powering him got him a better angle to hit, right? Hit him inside so that this one can recover. So that's why he wanted to make it a 3D. 
So now he's stuck with the not very good angle. I still think you I think you definitely just assist with a chameleon skink. And then do the GFI blitz and then this guy, you know, can maybe do the GFIs to recover. Here we go, three dice. GFI for a three D with a reroll. I mean he has to reroll this. Gets the pow. The good could yeah, the, the skin could foul. Well he pushes him in, gets the AV break, gets the Kaz. Will that get the concession from Artemis? Maybe. That is sad times for Art. This is almost over. This is almost over. Art did not stand up this guy last turn. Allowing his rogue to get hit with block. You know, if he had stood him, he'd just got smashed by a uh, croc, so... Fair enough. Yeah, they aren't in the uh, officially casted match, BB Jock. So I think he's, he's good to concede if he wants right now. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Dwight, it's like, it's easy to say that, isn't it? It's, it, it's you know, a, it, weird to put the uh, not make that a 2D. But I guess it's not as dangerous with him not having Mighty Blow. Yeah, I guess, yeah, yeah, it's just a scoring threat, isn't it? Yeah, it's just not a very good one next to a wrestle, but because, like, Art can't score. So putting this next to the guy who's going to 3D him or 2D him. Yeah, 3D him. Seems a bit weird. No, it really seems like Art has just woken up and then is throwing up. Um, so, yep. Not his... Not his finest hour. But funnily enough, I think Strider has played well. <laughs> and uh, it turns out playing well is more than just safe moves first. No, Art has no, not played. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that just Art has not played. He's just played like, you know, a greedy banger who's tried to bang people out with his shitty roger and then, you know, been desperate for anything when that didn't work. Which is not good, is it? And the one turn doesn't do him any favours now. He's got to somehow hope for uh, good KO rolls and good heat. And good KO rolls for himself. Bad KO rolls for Strider. Obviously, he's, the, the, the gut of being down is ridiculous. Um, but if he gets really good KO rolls... Oh my goodness. <laughs> if he gets... Re <laughs> if this guy wasn't cast. And he gets really good uh, KO rolls. Then uh, maybe, and you know, like three Saurus down to heat. Possible. Like there's only Saurus left nearly, right? So three Saurus from heat and three rubbish players. But yeah, this is a lot of cars. I mean, this is, this has turned into a uh, pretty, pretty terrible for art. It's one. It's one. <laughs> oh no, it's two. It's two. So two heat stroke blockers. And a snotling and a clan rat. Three, six, nine players versus nine. All of the KOs came back. Well, I say all. Is it just two? Two KOs came back for Strider. One for Art. Oh, I could have realized I should have had the, uh, the colors on. So you can see purple for Art, of course. Even Elliot is calling this one done. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, he's running out of skinks for the heat. That, that was the thing, Lee. He, he ran out of skinks for the heat, right? The, the skinks were KO'd and stuff. 
So uh, the skinks were out from heat. He had lost two skinks out from heat, and then he got one KO'd. So he was very likely to lose Soros from the heat stroke. That was that was the point. Not that he's running out of skinks to win the game with. That he was running out of skinks to get heated. So that was the heat was going to be more impactful because it was going to affect Soros. Because Soros is what you w actually want to remove, not skinks. So even though it was a decently impactful heat for Art, yeah, he doesn't. You know, he doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't have anything to take advantage, really. 9v9. No gutter. Suddenly a team of goblins, line rats and snotlings doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> Catches the kickoff, maybe. Knuckle dusters. Looks like Art's got knuckle dusters. Doesn't put it on the block tackle. Oh, wait, it's a clan rat with... Oh, it's dirty player. I thought that was tackle. His tackle is KO'd. That's why that's... They look similar, don't they? They do actually look similar. In my defence, they look similar. I was like, why the hell didn't he put it on that guy? But it was okay. It's okay, it's okay. No problem. My bad. My bad. I thought he's really not feeling well if he's not putting on his blitzer. <laughs> but uh, it actually wasn't. Errata, errata. Man. I've got to tell you, I hate Claw on the Roker. I can't even believe how bad it is. Like... It doesn't even make the mana seven, does it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, because it doesn't, it doesn't fully stack with with mighty blow. I thought it was a real bad choice. That's true, Dimrath. That's true. Do you want to hop on, Dimmy? <laughs> errata, errata. They're com They're not completely different. They've all got a foot. This is a foot, right? And this is a foot. They've both got a football boot with studs on. Identical. Identical <laughs> icons. <laughs> the wrestle rap for the he is the one that he had. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, it was really... I mean, they are the, the angle is completely different, but for somebody who doesn't know the icons, I think it's a... It's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> Way, Steve. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, this is fuck now for Artemis, isn't it? It's fair to say. His gutter's out. His rogue's out. Um, his team's out. He's 1-0 down. Strider has the ball. I guess he can goblin blitz, right? He can uh, he can snotling in and then goblin blitz. Probably should have done that this turn, and like every subsequent turn. He can just constantly throw. He can constantly throw one days at the ball. As long as he has, <laughs> as long as he has snotlings and goblins. This just seems like it's not going to do enough at all. Well, it does, though. It does. Instant cars. Maybe he can pull it back. With a team of goblins and skaven line rats. This will be the best comeback of the finals if he if he comes back and wins this. Like he's only 1-0 down, right? If he makes it 1-1 and wins the toss in overtime. Did he use Mighty Blow? It was nine, so it was, yep. Yeah, it was Mighty Blow that made the difference. Knuckle Duster is pretty busted, honestly. 
It's actually pretty busted. Like, imagine if it was his Blitzer and he had Block Tackle Mighty. Like, it gives you, like, free stacking in that. And there's one in eight chance of it as well, isn't there, on the table? It's, like, super good. Like, not OP, right? Because it's a, it's a 1 in 8 for it. I don't know how likely... You know, what the other ones are. And how much winning it makes a difference. <laughs> it's only fun drive. Uh, no, 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 it, no tree. It like it stacks with the block tackle, right? It like gives him a, it gives him like a skill stack, right? It gives him a skill stack by by getting by like in NAF style. All you can have is like a block tackle guy, right? For most teams. Apart from dwarves, all you get is like a block tackle guy. So then, when you get, when you get your knuckle dusters, ramp it up to mighty blow tackle. You suddenly got a skill stack, in a format where you shouldn't have skill stacks, and people don't expect you to have skill stacks, and it suddenly becomes very powerful. Way hey, daily. Oh my goodness. Has, has Art fouled, by the way? I don't think I've seen Art make a foul. <laughs> oh, he fouled the sneaky git once this game. I think he fouled the sneaky git once against uh, Call Troop. I don't think he's fouled with Dirty Player ever. Here we go. Here we go. No. Yeah, Strider I, has been pretty conservative. Um... I'm, He's been pretty conservative, Strider, in what I've seen him play. So I think he will continue to be. Yeah, I remember the first foul. Yeah, I remember the first foul getting the uh, badly hurt. I don't think he fouled Dave, or maybe he did after like the game was over. <laughs> I don't think he did in the first half. Hitting the goblin now right into the other goblin. 2D into a 3D to try and take him out because the goblins can cage dive. And he does take one out. It's I it's saying it's conservative from Strider, I think it's conservative from Art. I think Art has to, you know, dive in for a one D. I don't think he's gonna get better than that. I think he's gonna get shit on by Saurus. Even though there's only three of them. Like, Art just hasn't got a team, basically. I just think hitting a... Hitting a Saurus every turn isn't, isn't going to get it done. Maybe it will, though. Who knows? Foul this Saurus here. Like Strider obviously thinks that Art should be going for, going for the ball because that's why he fouled the, uh, like that's why he blitzed the goblin, right? Well, this is decent to be fair. Seven players left for the lizards. Seven for the underworld. Seven aside. The DP and the mighty blow but both triggering to uh, get removals here. Strider now capped at 10. Art, all, Art capped at 12. He 
He can score when he wants, but I guess that's why Art isn't diving now, right? So that he can't score when he wants, because then if once he makes a move, Art will dive, right? I guess that's the thinking for Art. But the problem is, the guys who can dive are getting targeted on three dice blitzers. <laughs> so now he has one guy who can dive. Which isn't good, is it? Like the problem is now if he goes in for the dive and it fails, it's over. But it is turn 12. He's wasted some time. Doesn't look like he's going for it. He's exposing the goblin. He hasn't... I don't think Art has recognised how much he needs this, this goblin that's left. If Stride wanted removals, he would have been blitzing Snotlings. He wasn't blitzing Snotlings. He was blitzing the goblins because the goblins can dodge in and 1D the ball. We've based the ball. What a time to be alive. GG. Nice idea then, right, to get the double ball base and then maybe the removal as well. But now it's uh, a blitz and a quick fuck off, and that's uh, GG. Nothing to think about here from Strider. I probably will take a few minutes to think about it, but there's nothing to think about, is it? You just blitz this guy. And then, you know, maybe he's activate the crocs first to see if he moves. But I mean, this is just a full, a full uh, screen. Pretty good having movement eight uh, stunties, isn't it? Why wow, he's not doing it? I think he. I think he should have done. Do not like this. But Strider is very conservative. And this way he guarantees keeping the crocs, doesn't he? And guarantees having a cage, but... Does he? Is it, is it two squares? No, it's only one! <gasps> oh! He had to GFI. 3% and Art was in. Surely, surely now, <laughs> Art will go in. Nope. Double skulls. Oh, shadowing! <laughs> Yeah, I I kind of think so. I think I think Strider might have should have gone that last turn, right? Because the the goblin and the wrestler were both completely out of the play. There was only the thrower and the snotling, so he could have uh, he could have had like what he was about here one two three four five six seven eight like right way right way up here with a, at least a two player screen, uh, probably a three player screen with the crocs. And then maybe it's a four-player screen with a, with a Chameleon skin. So you could have had a huge screen, potentially. I guess now he blitzes the Goblin again. Now he's pretty much got to activate the Crocs, I think. But he's still got this sideline play available to him. Or just go straight through. If you take out the uh, if you take out the goblin, blitzing the goblin, and then dropping on the thrower, and then activating the crocs on both of those is is amazing, isn't it? Or just stay put. Yeah. 
The problem is by staying put, you invite Art to inevitably go for the dodge in 1D, right? And the dodge in 1D is it's it's not impo it's not impossible. It's not even unusual. And Art is Welsh, so it's uh, it's asking. Yeah, I knew he'd come in there. So he comes in there because obviously in this way is harder because of the tail. So now the only way in is round the back. Which is obviously so much harder. Three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, right? So really good to put that guy there. It's turn 14 now. I feel like Art should have gone in. Yep, as Dog the Dog said, like two turns ago. Now he's he's got no choice now. He has to, he has to go now. Oh yeah, the Saurus corner. Yeah, oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a GFI. Is he coming in the back way? Like, is he as stupid as me? I think he's as stupid as me. This guy could have just gone there and come in through this thing. think this is it. Could have moved him first. <laughs> Terrible! I think he should have broken away. Like, the, there were, like... Art's only got, like, fucking six players or something, right? And, like, four were here and two were here. I just think you go that other that other way the other turn. I think this is just, you know... Like, it's still it's still probably safe for Strider, do you know what I mean? Like, but I think he was, you know, possibly a bit too conservative. Not breaking when he had a pretty good shot. Do you want to get bogged down? Yeah, maybe, Bron, maybe. Like, psychologically, it is a factor, isn't it? You know, like, it, it genuinely is. So he, he just cages back here, then, I guess? Because this Saurus is free. Comes back the way he's played, right? He's gonna go back and he's gonna cage. I mean, that's putting a lot on that one in nine because if it fails, this guy just comes around and smashes you. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Potato. Get to the pow. Has he got two squares left to mark him as well? Only oh no, he's got two, but it says a GFI for some reason. <laughs> for no for an unknown reason, the game is saying that's a GFI, but it is not. Yeah, this is pretty good actually, isn't it? He can even GFI as well. No, it's just no reason. An aria. And he, like, he literally just moved there. Yeah, he's going to double GFI, right? Sideline it. Yeah, sideline it. I guess the sideline's got the scatter if it fails, so I guess you don't sideline, you just go one, one further forward. But sideline is better place to be. But on the one in thirty six, it's got a three out of eight bad scatter. <laughs> so it probably still is correct to go to the sideline, but 
people don't have the nuts to do it, so we'll go straight forward. And with that dodge, that seals Art's fate, and yeah, I just I, I should have thrown something at it, you know. Because now he's got nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. I mean, that there's only one play. And this is it. Four, 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 three, two, two, two D, pow, crowd, scatter, goblin dodges, picks it up, gets three dice next turn. <laughs> It's a tough. It's a tough match for lizards, actually. The Bron. It's 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 a tough match for the lizards. Um, it's a it's a matchup that's cost uh, that's cost Dionysian forty quid. <laughs> because the the lizards can just get removed by the underworld pretty easily. Of course, if they don't get removed by the underworld, it's uh, it's not so easy. So he only got that far, but it was the only thing he could do. It was the, the only thing he could try was this idiocy. Wow! Well, there you go. So Art's next matchup will be against Inarion. Not in Ario, <laughs> but in Arion. Um, and it will take place on, uh, on the Saturday at 15.30 UTC. The first match will be... Wait... 16:30 UTC. I was I was translating from French time, but I've got it on I've got it on British time. So 16:30 UTC on Saturday, and the the winners bracket final will be the first match at 1400 UTC, and that will be Strider versus Hiru or Diomed. Either one pretty nice for Strider, so it's looking pretty good for Strider to get through to the grand final, and who he'll face, who knows. It would have been better to not score, yes, um, because this could have been a riot. No, not really. He, he couldn't score with a riot or anything. No, there was no one turn. It, it was it was completely indifferent um, whether to score or not. So there you go. Um, yeah, you know, rough rough for Art, right? Just walk up, played, um, puking up and stuff. Uh, you know, he's got health problems as Artemis, as he's uh, he's talked about in his stream and stuff. Um, so yeah, un unfortunate for Art. You know, he could have tried to reschedule. Probably should have tried to reschedule. But um, there you go. Um, unlucky Art. Commiserations. Congratulations, Strider, who books his place at the winners bracket final on Saturday, two p.m. UTC, versus Heroes, Dwarves, or Diamonds Orcs. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.